Hey guys, I'm Sellers and welcome to today's video. Really, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be going over a gameplay I got earlier today on Hardpoint Slums on League Play with just a couple of randoms. I was playing sort of an SMG OBJ Slayer sort of role, so I'm going to be going over what I did well, what I did wrong, what I should have done, and what my thoughts were when I, when I was doing something around the hill. This is basically like what I did with my anchor one, but now I, I'm in theatre mode, so I can, I can pause it and play it again, depending on what if I need to talk a bit longer than I should. So we're going to get it underway. As you can see, it's 4v4, so you know it's not a disadvantage to the other team. But straight up, I'm pushing mid-street. I throw a smoke over. I always do that, it's just something I always do. And then a grenade just around this corner because usually people hide behind their bricks. And then what I'm doing now is I'm rushing the hill, just staying in the hill, making sure nobody tries and pushes in. And then my teammate, I think, gets there. And they've actually flip spawns. So what I'm doing now, I'm just making sure they don't flip spawns. I'm not sure why I did streak at that time. I think I was just a bit stupid. I think I was just trying to make them flip spawns again so that we could regain them. And as you can see, I paused it. We've got one guy over at Bricks, if you look at the minimap in top left. We've got one guy watching blue, and then we've got another guy on statue. We've got, we've definitely got spawns, and we have a very good setup. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to stay at the front of the hill, slay while staying near enough in the hill, but I'm going to stay pushed up so they can they spawn all the way back at Laundry, and they spawn further out. So if we play that again, you can see... My team just holding it. We regain spawns because they spawn back. And I'm just rotating around the hill. I miss my shots here. Well, yeah. I just don't shoot. And we still have spawns. There's two seconds left, so we don't push. That's why. <laughs> just remembered. The reason I used the score streaks at the beginning were to hold that hill. Because if you, on slums, it's... It's all about how far you can push up while keeping spawns. So I use my streaks so he could regain spawns, push them back. We can get as much time on the hill in the first hill, and then that will if we keep the anchor spot and we keep like the forty seconds that we get from that first hill, it will easily put us at an advantage and it will help us get a good setup for this next hill, which is down the bottom. So I'll play this again. I see my two teammates spawn back there, so I'm just really, at the moment I'm slaying, keeping blue, I die, and I spawn out. You might not be able to say this, see this very clearly, but we had one guy in the hill, we had one guy at the back, and I think we had another guy mid-street, but I think he died. And because they were at coffee, they were sitting in coffee try, trying to get down Main Street, I spawned out. It doesn't matter if we have players in the back. If players get in coffee, then spawns will usually flip. To counter that, you can have a guy pushed up at police car or a guy around double D area. If you do that, you'll keep spawns. I'm always using smokes, I'm not sure, I, I, I like to use smokes because it makes them play a bit more defensively, because if there's smoke on the ground they're just like, what to do now, and there, they shouldn't have pushed it at 20 seconds, they should have waited, gone and, get a good, gone and got a good setup for this hill, because when they pushed it, they had a guy mid street as well, as well as pushing blue and double D. And seeing as that guy was mid street, it meant that 
me and the teammate to my left, we spawned out and we spawned at the next hill. Which is an advantage to us because my two teammates in the hill, they can, one of them can rotate, one of them can hold the hill, while my me and my other teammate can get a good setup for this, stay in the hill, get anchor spot, and that's what we do. Just pick up that kill, I'm not sure how. Throw smokes down. I'll give you a good, a little explanation of why I do that. It me it means that you can sit somewhere where usually you wouldn't sit if the smoke's down there because they don't have a clear line of sight through you. They may get a few lucky shots on you and you might die a couple of times, but most of the time you can sit somewhere when where you wouldn't normally be able to sit and you can just watch a part of the area you smoked. So I smoked in the mid street there. One of my teammates can watch blue easily and I can watch around graveyard because they'll either rush through the smoke and then like, it's easy kills for me or they'll try and flank round and we had a guy at the back you see in top laundry and he can just pick up the kill from garage area. It also means that the enemy will be a bit more defensive. They'll try and flank round, they'll wait for the smoke to go, they'll chuck nades or whatever, they'll do anything just to not run through the smoke, which is an advantage for us, because we can get a good setup, we can wait. And we lose the hill, but it's alright, we still spawn over here. And at the moment, I'm really just make, doing my objective type of work. Um, I think after this hill I'll start doing some slaying, but we spawned out because they pushed garage. As you can see, you've got a red dot over there, and earlier you had a red dot over by fountain area. And we spawned out because they moved around garage, and we're we're just down this channel. We're just down the laundry channel, which is not what you want. You want at least two guys around this channel area. One guy maybe watching mid street, rotating to like watch back alley of garage, and another guy you want watching around red van, just so you can get. So they can't flank you really. If they flank you and get to fountain, then you'll immediately spawn out, which is what we do. The guy didn't check his corner, I just picked up the easy kill. I see your one guy there, but I think my teammate picks him up with a grenade. And we're spawning out at the moment, and I know that, that they're going to be spawning behind us, so I'm just trying to get them, get some kills at the back. I shouldn't have challenged that, I may, maybe should have waited till my team got there, but it's not that fast, we're up that much. I knew my team is doing quite well in the slaying department, but at the moment they've got all four back there. I put the smoke down as you can see it means the AN94 can't see me pick up the one kill he's concussion pick up the two and then I pick up the third as well which means it should be easy for my team just to go back get the guy off fountain and easy kills this guy had no idea what he was doing he's trying to be sneaky getting corners picked up him easily and right here I didn't actually notice that guy spawned out but it means he spawned out, so I think there's a guy either at Fountain, Back Alley, or around Mid Street area. But right here, you've just got a good setup. One guy's in garage, one guy's pushing Fountain. I'm doing more of a Slayer role at the moment. Yeah, that was the guy that was in Mid Street that made my team. But I call him my streaks just because I want to get close to my stealth chopper. I'm just work on my way, make sure we make sure I'm making sure that my team can keep spawns, they don't get flanked or anything, so I'm doing more of a I'm doing more of a defensive slaying sort of thing, but now with like twenty five seconds left I decide, yeah, I'm I'm really gonna push for this. I'm just gonna do a slay and I get myself chopper. I think I die here. Yeah, I miss my shots, I die. That's fair enough. He gave us spawns because he pushed through blue, which is fine by me. He's still going. They're still going for that hill, which I'm not too fussed about. And I'm just now I'm sitting at the back, making sure that we can keep spawns. If we lose them, I can easily just run back. But I see my team spawn teams mate spawns behind me, so right now I'm just pushing up, doing more of that Slayer role again. And right here we have a good setup. I, we have me watching Brickside, we have one guy around Coffee, but he's going to rotate up to Bricks as well. We've got one guy watching Graveyard and we've got one guy watching Blue. This is a very good setup, as well as the Stealth Chopper, keeping them back in spawn, making sure that they're 
being cautious when coming up. My teammate, he pushes through graveyards and Bricks gets caught, which I f which means that they do flip spawns, but that's not too fast, I mean, because we're this far ahead, we're just... My teammates are just picking up slaying kills at the moment, I'm just staying in the hill, making sure we get the points, trying to just ease it off, see one guy Bricks, take him out. My teammate helps me out there. And we've got a good setup again. We, my team, we we always had good setups to control hills and stuff. I see my two teammates rotating back. One of my teammates is still on the hill. I'm picking up, trying to, I'm trying to look for slaying kills, but my team get them all. And I know because I'm pushed up quite far, and we may not have mid street. I'm just you know making my way back, clearing blue and stuff. Calling in my score streaks because it's near the end of the match. I only pick up one there, which was quite bad, but I mean, we're coming to the end of the match, so I'm just like, I might as well just use my score streaks. And we got a good setup. We got two double Ds, one in Hill. Yes, we should have possibly had one in the mid, mid street, but when that guy died, he spawned there, so I could stay pushed up blue. I can st stay slaying, and then I just pick up this kill here to get my stealth chopper and to end the game. So, and that's the victory, 250 to 31. So I'd say probably the two things that helped us win the game were our setups on all the hills. We had a very good setup. We always had one guy at the back, two guys around the hill, and then me or another teammate slaying, which is always a good one. So when I when I was talking about like all my setups, you can just pause that, or you can go back and pause it, and you can just study it, see what we're doing well. And I think another thing was my slaying, because if I died, then one of my teammates would take my role, and I'd spawn back. So it was good rotation by my team to always have one guy slaying, one guy, one or two guys anchoring, and then another guy sort of just on the hill so we always had a good setup we always had guys rotating through roles so if one guy was anchoring and he died another guy would rotate back and then we'd all rotate back until that guy and then we push up again so we always had a good setup we always had control of the hill and I think just because pure slaying power we won that game so this is the ending. I finished 34 and 5, 5 captures, 14 defends. If you like these, I can try and get a few more. If you want more anchor SMG, if you want more slayers as well, I'll try and get some of those. Just comment in the section below if you want to see more of these really and I'll just see what I can do. And guys, remember, like, comment, subscribe. See ya.